All right, Jack Harlow is releasing Come Home, The Kids Miss You in just over a week on the 6th. I think it's uh, May 6th when the album is releasing. It's been almost a year and a half since he released the last album. That's what they all say. He released two albums in 2020. That's what they all say in December of uh, 2020. And then um, Sweet Action, I'm pretty sure it was um, called... I think it was an EP, but it was seven songs. It had What's Poppin' as well as a few more decent sized songs on it. I did like That's What They All Say. 15 tracks on there. What's Poppin', What's Poppin' Remix, Rendezvous, Already Best Friends, the song with Lil Baby. I think it was called um, King of My City. Um, pretty good songs on there. A decent amount of songs on there that I did enjoy quite a bit i got into already best friends face of my city and then of course what's popping and the remix um a lot in this video we'll go over uh my predictions for come home the kids miss you coming out in about a week and a half what i think it'll sound like the features what i think the sales will be and how i think it'll perform overall uh over time the two singles out now are Nail Tech and First Class, which I do enjoy both of them. They're not amazing in my opinion, but both quality songs in my opinion. Um, definitely passable and good songs, quality songs. N not anything that really amazed me though. Um, First Class probably the better of the two. Um, actually a pretty catchy song. I do enjoy it. I do enjoy both songs. Nail Tech, more energetic. Both good songs though. Nothing absolutely amazing though. I am expecting some songs that, that I'm really going to enjoy and I'm expecting a step up from um, that's what they all say and what he released in 2020. Nail Tech really isn't anything too different from what we, we've gotten from Jack Harlow in the past, in the past few years. Um, First Class definitely is with the sample. Um, I, I kind of do enjoy what, what he did uh, uh, with that sample on the hook, but First Class being a different song and Nail Tech not really being anything different from Jack Harlow, from what we are, are, are used to hearing from him. I am expecting some different things similar to First Class where, where maybe he does sample a, an older song like I think it was called uh, Glamorous is the name of it, the, the Fergie song he sampled. Um, I'm expecting different things, different flows, maybe some different features on here, maybe some some features that we, we aren't expecting. Um, I hope he doesn't do anything like have Fabio Foreign or a drill artist on there and then make, and then make a drill song. Who knows, maybe if he did, it, it'll turn out well, like Roddy Rich with Fabio Foreign on Murder One. Um, I'm not expecting anything like that but I, I am expecting different things. I'm expecting him to stay in his lane though um, with the melodic uh, songs and the um, more more upbeat songs, kind of similar songs to First Class and Nail Tech. Um, I am expecting though a good mix of melodic songs, singing songs, R&B songs like, R &B, um, like Already Best Friends last year and then some more songs like Nail Tech and Face of My City and What's Poppin' that are more upbeat and more of rap songs. I'm expecting a pretty good mix of both styles. There are 15 songs on here. I'm not expecting too many features on here. He, he do doesn't seem like somebody to uh, put too many features on his songs. I'm expecting a decent amount though. Probably five or six songs seven at the most um with features on here is what i'm expecting i wouldn't be surprised to see guys that were on the last album on here again like big sean little baby estg and chris brown wouldn't be surprised to see guys like that again um as well as guys like gunna as well i can definitely picture jack harlow surprising us with a feature on here like justin bieber or somebody we aren't really expected maybe a pop artist maybe a female um, I can definitely picture him putting somebody on here or a few that we definitely don't expect. Maybe, but hopefully, hopefully not. Lil Nas X could be on the album because they, they had the song together, Industry Baby. It was a decent song, but hopefully Lil Nas X is not on here. They seem kind of close, but hopefully, hopefully he's not on here, but he could be. I think there's a possibility he is, but hopefully not. Wouldn't be surprised to see Bryson Tiller on here. He's collaborated a few times with Bryson Tiller. And then maybe some surprise features like uh, Eminem. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see on here. He's got the killer remix um, with Eminem and Corday. Wouldn't be surprised to see Corday on here as well. Or someone like Tory Lanez or DaBaby, uh, Lil Wayne, some of the guys that were on the What's Poppin' remix. Jack Harlow's pretty versatile, so I can definitely definitely picture him, picture him collaborating with 
with almost anybody. I don't really want to see him collaborate with a drill artist, but I can see him throwing a pop so a, a pop artist on a song and then someone who is pretty much strictly a rapper, maybe somebody like Polo G. Um, I can definitely picture him, him, him collaborating with pretty much anybody. Maybe even a Drake feature. He's bigger now. Maybe he, 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 he got a Drake feature. We'll see. I'm There's not anybody I'm really expecting on here for features, but um, any I'm, I'm, I expect anybody. Nobody in specific, but I'm expecting almost anybody. Drake, Gunna, Lil Baby, almost anybody I'm expecting to be featured on here. I think Jack Harlow needs to really capitalize off of the success of first class and i i do think he'll do so first class going number one on billboard i think he'll really ride that out for a little while it's still number two now um but i think he'll really ride that success into this album and the next single if he drops one before the album releases i think this album could and will take jack harlow to the next level uh more mainstream he's become more mainstream in the last um few, well year obviously since the last album he has he got to, to the mainstream level with what's popping and pretty much stayed there um it's been since the last album a steady or small incline um until first class first class obviously blew up and now he's very 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 mainstream um obviously first class is his biggest song since what's popping and um even bigger than bigger than what's popping at least right now going number one on billboard which what's popping i think peaked at number two or three we'll see how long it lasts first class on billboard i think it'll last a while we'll see how long it does last but this will take or this album will take jack harlow i think even even higher even to even higher heights and um i think could give him more respect in the rap game and the industry as well first week sales we'll, we'll go over what i think would be good what i think wouldn't be good and what i think he will uh do i think 100k would be pretty good um i'm expecting really at least 100k um it seems like he's had a decent rollout and his name has gotten pretty big in the last couple years um Especially recently, like I said, with First Class going number one, I think that's really going to affect how the album um, performs, especially first week. I'm expecting, my prediction, I'm going to say 140K first week for Jack Harlow, 140K. Um, I think, I really don't picture him flopping with the album, but I think a flop would be, would be probably 70K or lower. Um, I can really <clears throat> picture him doing easily 100K though, e easily at least 90 to 100K, but I, I, I really think and predict he will do between 130 and 140K. That's my prediction for, for sales. I think the album over time will do pretty, pretty well, um, too. I can picture it sticking around on streaming platforms and on the billboard charts for a while and selling well week after week. I think he, he, he could even get more songs to stick on Billboard. Maybe not like First Class or What's Poppin', but I think First Class is going to do pretty well, as well as the album, and then maybe even more singles. I think he'll get a lot of songs to chart on Billboard and the album to perform pretty well first week and over time sales-wise. And I think, I think fans, probably at first, maybe they'll, fans might, might say it's not that good at first. It seems like that's how people usually are. But then I think after a week or two, it'll settle in and people will really enjoy it. Um, hopefully it doesn't get too too stuck between Kendrick Lamar er, uh, and Future. Future release in this week and Kendrick the week after. Hopefully he doesn't get stuck between them. Um, but I, I can still picture him doing well between 130 and 140K. At least 100K is my prediction. At least 100K. Thank you for watching. Drop your thoughts and your predictions on or for Jack Harlow and his album, Come Home, The Kids Miss You, down in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, check the channel out, and I'll see you in the next video.